Hello friends, welcome to A to Z industry. The most common odontogenic cyst is radicular cyst, dendigerous cyst, odontogenic keratocyst, gingival cyst. A radicular cyst. Most common odontogenic cyst is a radicular cyst. Floating tooth syndrome appearance is seen in fibrous dysplasia, cherubism, vanishing bone, pages disease. Cherubism. Gustatory sweating is auricular temporal syndrome, Fotherfield's disease, crocodile tears, spinopaltin neuralgia. Auricular temporal syndrome. Widespread caries destruction of deciduous teeth most commonly for maxillary incisors followed by first molars with absence of caries in mandibular incisors. Chronic caries, acute caries, nursing caries, rampant caries. Nursing caries. Thistle tube shaped pulp chamber is found in dendinogenesis imperfecta 2, dentine dysplasia type 2, dentine dysplasia type 1, odontodysplasia. Dentine dysplasia type 2. Which of the following cysts manifest typically between the roots of maxillary lateral incisor and cane? Nasoalveolar cyst, nasopalatine duct cyst. Globular maxillary cyst, median palatal cyst. Globular maxillary cyst. Which of the following bacteria is more important for producing cellulitis? Streptococci, pneumococci, staphylococci, helicobacter pylori. Streptococci. Discharging sinuses with sulfur granules are a feature of tuberculosis. Actinomycosis, Ludwig's angina, Pinborg's tumor. Actinomycosis. Which of the following lesion does not manifest as a multilocular radiolucency? Amyloblastoma, odontogenic keratocyst, periapical cyst, adenoamyloblastoma. Periapical cyst. Which of the following lesion manifests with intraoral vesicles and Protromal fever and malaise, bullous pemphigoid, lichen planus, psoriasis, herpes simplex. Herpes simplex. Okay, it's all about today's topic. See you with a new video. Thank you.